You're watching Let's Chat. One of, if not the biggest resources for breast care awareness is located right here in Chattanooga, and it is the Mary Ellen Loker Breast Center. On a personal note, Mary Ellen Loker was a friend and a colleague in the broadcast community, and she passed away way too young because of breast cancer. Cindy Perry is here, and she is the Mel's Club coordinator mm -hmm. at, um, at Memorial, but so much more beyond that. <laughs> What is, if you had to sum it up for somebody in an elevator in 30 seconds mm -hmm. or less, what is the Mary Ellen Loker Breast Center? Well, the Mary Ellen Loker Breast Center, of course, offers comprehensive care for um, any breast cancer patient. And one of the things that I'm particularly involved in is Mel's Club, which is a breast health education awareness program for teenage girls. Tell me how that works. What I do is I go into schools and I teach girls um, things about myths and misconceptions about breast cancer. Uh, we bring a survivor in when possible to share her story. We teach them about wellness, prevention, how to do a self-exam. And our goal is to educate and empower young women at an early age to take care of themselves so if something happens to them or someone they love, they will not be afraid. And this is year number 10 yes. for the mm -hmm. um, Mel's Club mm -hmm. education program, for yes. lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. But you guys have grown just exponentially over the past 10 years. Ten years ago, when all this started, mm -hmm. did you think it would have legs? Did you think it would be going stronger than ever, than you ever possibly dreamed ten years later? Yes, yes. <laughs> you were talking about um, the misconception of mm -hmm. breast cancer. Tell me one of the biggest ones. One of the things that teenage girls that I deal with um, believe is uh, crazy things like if you get hit in the chest, you're going to get breast cancer. Um, if you hug someone with breast cancer, you can catch it. Um, if you sleep in your bra, you're going to get breast cancer. So we want to teach them the true facts so that um, they'll know at an early age that it's normal, necessary, and natural to right. take care of your breasts. And they can take that information home to yes. their sisters, mm -hmm. whether they're younger or older, mm -hmm. to their moms, mm -hmm. to their aunts. So it's kind of like creating that big ripple in the water that yes. keeps on going and mm -hmm. going and going. Yes. One of the things we do is we do uh, role plays at the end of our presentation. And one of the role plays is your mom is 45 and she's never had a mammogram. What do you do when you go home from school today? And so we walk them through how, how to bring it up with their mother. And we give every girl plenty of information to take home and share with other women in their family. How do you bring that up with your mother well a lot of women before mm -hmm. you answer that a lot sure. of women are very hesitant yes. about getting that initial mammogram yes so how do you do how do you bring that up with your mom well I think that what it's just an, a normal natural conversation we I tell girls you know getting a mammogram is just the same thing as anything you do to take care of your health you know brushing your teeth taking a vitamin so you know to take away the stigma and the fear about it is one of the goals that we have and what do you guys need on a continual basis throughout the year? Are you looking for financial contribution, volunteer hours, what? Well, I think all of those things would be, um, would be wonderful to have. And, um, you know, what I'm looking for with Mel's Club is opportunities to get into schools, church groups, anywhere you give, you've got a group of teenage girls, that's mm -hmm. where I want to be to talk to them about the program. How many of these talks have you done over the years? If you had to put a number on it, what would it be? Hundreds. I've talked to thousands of girls over 10 years. And you hope to talk to thousands more. Absolutely. How do folks get in touch with you to find out more information about Mel's Club and how to get involved and on a bigger basis, the Mary Ellen Loker Breast okay. Center? Um, uh, you can contact Brittany Hennessy, who is the director of the Mary Ellen Loker Breast Center. Mm -hmm. And her email is Brittany Hennessy, just like Tennessee at commonspirit.org, or you can call the Breast Center at 495-4040. What you were doing is kind of a one-of-a-kind one ministry, mm -hmm. Cindy, yes. and um, you were to be highly, highly commended well, for Well, thank it. you so much. And there's no telling how many people you have touched mm -hmm. and how much of a difference you have made in lives that you'll never even <laughs> dream about. Thank you. Always good to see you, Cindy Perry. We thank you for joining us. Thank you. Got to run. That'll do it for this edition of Let's Chat. Again, call the number on your screen or check out the website to find out more about how you can get involved. And we will see you back here later on today for News 12 starting at noon.